Hi, I'm Steve Smith, and welcome to another Cult of Mac Sunday Tips. With Apple releasing a new iMac every year or so, it can get a little bit frustrating when you've just spent a small fortune on your iMac only a year or two ago. Well today, I'm going to show you how to boost the power and speed up your iMac, which only takes a few minutes and doesn't really cost that much, all just by upgrading your RAM. Let's get started. Before we get into this, we need to know what your system can handle. So, we're going to head over to Crucial.com and find the system scanner. The link can be found below. Once on there, you can download the scanner, run it, and then it will tell you how much RAM your iMac can take. So, here we go. My iMac can take 32GB, and I purchased 8GB of RAM, so I'll be upgrading my Mac from 4GB to 12 So this works for all iMacs from 2009 to 2011. The newer models have a slightly different technique, which we'll cover soon in a video. So, first step is to turn off your computer. Once it's shut down, disconnect all the cables and the power cord from the computer. Place it on a soft clean towel or another flat surface because we don't want the computer screen to get scratched. Then, using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the chin plate. It has three screws as you can see. And don't worry about them falling out, they're cleverly attached. Then, the next thing you need to do is untuck the tab. And as you can see, it's already got two sticks of RAM in there, which adds up to my 4 gig. If you pull it out, a memory stick will come with it. This does take a little bit more force than you'd expect, so you really need to give it a good tug. All you need to do is insert your new RAM into the empty slot, and make sure the shorter strip is on the right hand side. After you have inserted it, press the RAM into the slot. Again, this does take a little bit of force to put it in, but you should hear a slight click when the memory is in place correctly. Then, tuck the tabs back in the way they were, and then put the chain plate back on and screw it in. Plug it all back in. Turn it on. And if everything's gone successfully, you'll be able to see it's installed your RAM. Well, that's it for another week. Let me know what you've upgraded in your iMac. Also, if you've got any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, you've got to click subscribe. We've got some great shows and giveaways on the way, so you don't want to miss them. I'll see you next time.